What up boys and welcome back to yet another YouTube video. So in this video we're looking at another episode of me doing the most popular five-man farms but I'm doing him solo because there's constantly people whenever I upload a video about a five-man farm or I do a five-man farm live on uh, my stream at Twitch TV there's always people asking me student can I do this solo? Student, how much do I get doing it solo? Is it viable solo? You guys get the idea. And I've already uploaded the two videos in this series and they get a lot of good feedbacks. So like you guys are enjoying the series and you want me to keep on going and testing more and more five months. So uh, the idea is not to give you guys a gold per hour doing it solo. It's more to display the amount of loot that I get. Because on some realms, it's going to be actually pretty damn decent to do these uh, solo as well. While on other realms, they're really dog shit. So when you have the amount of loot, especially on materials, it's super easy for you guys to calculate how good they will do on your realm. So before we dive into the numbers and the farm itself, I do want to say a big thank you to everyone that has picked up the zero to 10 million gold guide. It's been insane. You guys like the book. You guys are excited to update uh, the updates for the Dragonflight version, uh, which is the same book, by the way. Like if you guys buy this book or you've already bought this book, it will be updated for Dragonflight. So you guys don't have to buy a Dragonflight version. It's the same book that has been updated for over uh, two years now. So big thank you to all the support. Make sure to pick it up uh, and use the discount code SHADOWLANDS for 50% off. So we've already done uh, Volatile Fire up here solo in a video. So it was only natural when I wanted to do the next material to do Volatile Water, which is located down here in this river, right? And the farm is very simple. You just run around in circles, uh, killing these water elemental. And it's very important to have the Potion of Treasure Finding on, because once you have that one on, it allows you to collect all the other Volatiles in the game as well. You will also get Elementium and Purite Ore, and you will get Ember Silk Cloth, Raw Gold, Green Items. You get the idea. It's just bonus gold, even though you have to pay a thousand gold for it, which is unlikely. But let's say that you do have to pay a thousand gold for it. It would still be worth to pick it up, right? Uh, the main region that we're after, though, is a direct drop from the mobs, which is the Volatile Water. And doing this for one hour solo, you can see I uh, did it on my live stream. I got in market value 79,000 gold, which is completely bullshit because I've entered every single green item. And this Heart of the Vile is 35,000 gold market value, but it's a trash item. So uh, the only thing that I really care about is the uh, the materials. And doing this solo, I got 327 Volatile Water. So with the current price of my realm, that's like roughly 25,000 gold in just the Volatile Water. And then like another 5,000 gold in the other Volatiles, uh, Cloth and Ore. Making it a 30,000 gold per hour gold farm. You also get some raw gold, so it's actually above 30,000 gold solo. So with these prices, it's actually a pretty damn decent solo farm. Like these materials, they sell fast. And there's a lot of people out there who don't mind doing a farm uh, for uh, over 30,000 gold an hour. Like that's enough. That being said, though, if you do this in a group, you will roughly get a thousand more volatiles. Like it's anywhere between a thousand to 1,400 volatiles, depending on your RNG but also on how good your group is. And that's just the volatile water. You also get a ton more ore. Like, you get a ton more of everything else as well, obviously, because you kill way more mobs. Uh, but at least now you guys can get, like, a rough idea on how much uh, materials you can expect. And you can check on your realm to see if it's worth doing solo. Uh, but that was pretty much it for today's video. So if you guys like these videos, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel and you will be notified whenever I upload another video. Also, if you have a suggestion of uh, what gold farm I should solo next, then please leave it down below in the uh, comment section. That's it for today, though. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to press that thumbs up button. And I will see you all back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.